pop, bench, pop, bench, pop, bench, pop, bench. Yes, it's time for another episode of Park Bench. In recent episodes, we've been quite frivolous in our subject matter. Now it's time to get serious. This week, we're going to talk about gambling. Gambling is about as serious as the bird shit on this bench. It ruins people's lives and people's benches. We decided to replicate what happens to a gambler over the course of two hours by gambling the grand total of £20 in £5 increments. To do this, I needed my special guest, who this week has come all the way from over there, Lou Saunders. <laughs> Welcome, Lou. Hey. Watch out for the... I don't put my coat on the bird shit! <laughs> no! Then I can sit down. Oh. oh god, this has got serious. Hi! I should explain, there's a big wet puddle there, isn't it? This is the worst day ever. <laughs> Roulette. Well, the first place we went to was the casino. Um, only it's not as, as glamorous as it is in the uh, Bond movies, is it? No. No, it was more like a train spotting movie. I had a great time, I had a flutter, straight away I was up £35 before I knew it, just on the first £5, wasn't I? And I thought, yes, I knew I was a natural born winner. And I lost, I lost £5, so it didn't work out. And it wasn't, wasn't just losing the £5, it was also because you won and made it a lot worse for me. Have you ever won anything in your life? Yes, I won a drawing competition yeah. um, when I was age six which for National Book Week. And yeah, I but got it was for the, it was the under fours category, no, wasn't it? it was and you six, cheated. It, it was six for six year olds. Yeah. And I got a sign posted by Peter Davison, which my mum threw away. Basically, anything that was worth money when I was a child, like Smurfs and like Star Wars figures and Doctor Who signed posters my mum put in the bin. It's lucky that you're not still bitter about it, isn't it? <laughs> The fruit machines. The next place we went to was Las Vegas. No, not the real Las Vegas. Las Vegas is an arcade in Soho. <laughs> yeah. mm. There's birch everywhere. Um, so how did you find the fruit machines? Uh, I couldn't, they bamboozled me. I'm not really a fruity player. It's like a different language, isn't it? Yeah, you were good on them though, weren't you? I did, well, I lost all my money and you actually won two, well, you lost two pounds 30. Yeah, but you knew what you were doing, I mean, you knew how to play. Because probably when you were younger, I was probably out kissing boys, being really cool, and you were probably like playing the fruities, trying to forget your childhood, wasn't you? I wish that was funny, but actually that rings <laughs> pretty true. <laughs> Tossing of the coin. <laughs> so you chose, I chose tails, and what was the result of it? It was heads. I got a heads. So you'd won on pretty much every single occasion so far, you won money. I'll let you choose, because I knew you'd lose. What would you have chosen if you'd have chosen first? The opposite of you. But if you would have chosen first, how would you know what I was going to choose? I probably would have chosen tails, because it's usually tails, isn't it? I wonder what the statistics are, if it is actually more tails than Maybe heads. Maybe you could look it up and put them at the bottom of the screen for real avid fans. Yeah, so also it'd be more for myself. If anyone's mm. still watching, the statistics will appear on the bottom of the screen now. Um, <laughs> if anyone's still watching. <laughs> ah. Hey, do you know the only thing you hadn't lost was some weight? <laughs> High five myself. Just a joke. I think you look really great. I actually think you look great. Horse racing. Well, I mean, the atmosphere in the bookies is electric. <laughs> It was us and one other man who looked like he... I think he had one leg and uh, he, was, he, he had uh, a certain swagger about him. He looked like he gambled several of his organs on horses. <laughs> so we looked at the horses and I bet on um, Pink Lips. Can you remember what horse you backed? No, one of the bad ones. Yeah, well, that's because no one remembered the loser. <laughs> and Pink Lips came in and I said, uh, 40 oh, pounds, 40 pounds. And that took you, well... And to At profit least of, evens. Yeah, so over the whole course of the gambling day, I'd won £25 and you won £32.30. So what have we learned about gambling? It's wrong. Don't do it unless you're going to win. And what do we do? Wind. Yeah, we wind. We wind big, we wind good. It took up the whole day. We could have got a lot of work. <laughs> to be honest, if you went to work for the day, you'd earn a lot more than £27 or £32. But we had a nice time. That's the main message, isn't it? Well, to sum up, gambling is bad, even though that we won and we enjoyed it and we quite think we think it's good. But just ignore that, it's bad. I think if you're sad inside, gambling might be bad. 
If you're happy inside. And want to be sad. You know what to do. I think one of the most interesting things was in all the gambling establishments we went to, we never saw anyone smiling. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Lou. It's been very informative. And to all our audience out there, be lucky. Uh, I've got the bird shit on my hands now. Oh, don't worry. It's good for you.